Team World, today I'm going to be showing you how I'm using Apertus and the MazaCoin blockchain to put uh, to create proof of existence stamps of all of my OpenSea NFT items. <clears throat> and also on all of my OpenSea NFT items, uh, you'll see that there is links uh, associated with each one and those links uh, browse out to the proof of existence stamps out on Bitfossil. And Bitfossil is a service that basically scans, uh, that's constantly always monitoring a bunch of different blockchains for data that is uh, in the Apertus format. So you can see here's one I just created. Uh, this is a proof of existence stamps of a box poem uh, that I created called Chaos Love. And here's a thumbnail. Here is the uh, hash of the file. Uh, and here's some tags that I associated with it. And the tags in Apertus work similar to Twitter. In Apertus, you can search for any of these uh, tagged uh, strings here, and it'll return uh, a listing of those. All right, so uh, let's just begin. I'm going to put a brand new one on here, and we'll just kind of go through the whole process. <clears throat> so uh, I've opened Apertus. I'm selecting the Maza coin blockchain. I'm selecting an account with funds on it. I'm selecting my profile. And that's going to load up the most recent things that I've just hatched using that profile. I'm selecting my signature. <clears throat> and the signature is important because in the future, should I transfer this, should I actually sell this, I would transfer this uh, proof of existence. I would create another proof of existence stamp that basically says I'm transferring all ownership to a, a different signature. And I'll sign that with my current signature. And that will let future users look at this and see, oh, now the new owner is this other person uh, that has a different signature. <clears throat> so it's, it's important that if you're doing this, that you also use a signature uh, on your etchings. The profile will, is what gives you this item here, which lets people uh, send you messages and things like that. But the signature is kind of the important part. Uh, so I'm going to copy some of the data from my last one that I did to make this easier. And I'm going to paste it into the message window. And I'm going to, let's see, find the next one that I'd like to do. And I think we'll do Earth Heaven is what we'll do. This one here. So let's update this to say Earth Heaven done it before. And uh, to get these, uh, I've been putting thumbnails on every one of them just to make it uh, more apparent exactly, you know, that what you're searching for is what you found. So I'm going to attach the thumbnail for Earth Heaven. And OpenSea also wants you to put thumbnails on your items there as well. So I'm already having to create the thumbnails for that process. So we'll select the thumbnail. File name, Earth Heaven, OpenSea, and uh, I'm going to increment the number to 123. This is 123. I put 123 items on uh, on auction in this format, and that's good. So now I'm going to actually create the uh, proof, of, proof of Existence hash. You do that by selecting File, Proof, Insert. And now I want to find the actual file that I'm going to be uh, auctioning off, and that one is Earth Heaven. So we'll select that. And let's just make sure we're good here. Earth heaven, earth heaven. All right. So as soon as I hit open, um, so make sure at this pro at this step that you've gotten uh, the right file selected because as soon as you hit open, it's going to start etching. So let's do it. Open. And it should immediately, you'll see down here, some Maza coin transactions will start kind of coming through. And what's happening is it's actually uh, etching that thumbnail onto the Maza coin blockchain. It, uh, along with the uh, hash of the file. So we're going to browse out to Bitfossil. And Bitfossil is a real-time index uh, of data that's etched onto blockchains using the Apertus format. And you can see that it's already found the text uh, portion of this etching. Uh, and then shortly, it should find uh, the thumbnail. We'll just hang out here. Usually doesn't take too long. <clears throat> I wanted you to get a sense of how long it does actually take because it is permanently etching this data into the Mazacoin blockchain. Uh, 
they're you know it's a it's a decentralized way of uh, storing data. Let's see if it's there yet. Ah, okay, cool, it's there. <clears throat> so now that it's here, you can see that there's a hash of it. Everything that I put in there, there's my thumbnail, here's my profile, everything looks good. So I'm going to copy this URL <clears throat> because out in OpenSea, I'll be using that to create this link between uh, my auction item and uh, the proof of existence hash. So now on OpenSea, I'm gonna browse to my collection and I'm going to add a new one here and show you how that works. <laughs> I only have 15 minutes because this is uh, some free software I'm using, so hopefully I can get this done in time. All right, so OpenSea, I'm creating a new item. I'm going to the same video, earthheaven.mp4. You can see it shows a preview here. It says I need to create a thumbnail. We'll add that. The thumb, same thumb that I just used in uh, a Pertis and Maza coin. I'm putting that on there. Uh, this one is called Earth Heaven. The external link is the link to Bitfossil uh, that has the proof of existence information. Uh, for the descriptions, I've just been retyping in the poetry that's a part of the archive. This is just the beginning. Sorry, my wireless keyboard is acting up. Earth. Hmm, it's not going too fast. Earth. And then. This is the most enthralling. <laughs> Come on. There. And then also, uh, OpenSea does not, uh, it isn't, doesn't store the data for you. So you have to provide a, a way for the, for the user who has purchased one of your items to, to actually get the content. And uh, most people are putting that uh, on IPFS. So I'm going to show you how that works right now too. I'm also going to show you how to use a pinning service. Uh, so first of all, I've opened up IPFS. I'm going to insert this file that I just did, earthheaven.mp4. Uh, it's imported, and then you want to pin it so it remains. So I'm going to set the pinning to local because you can't just put it on here and then turn it off your computer, walk away. If you did that, they wouldn't. Uh, uh, for, for a day, they might be able to find your file, but after that, they wouldn't be able to find it. So you also need to use a pinning service. So uh, we're going to do that. And the pinning service I've been using has been called is, is Pin Manager. And I like it because you get one gigabyte free. And since all my content is really small, like about two or three megs, I should be able to put a couple hundred on here and, and uh, you know, not have to pay for it. <laughs> So we'll add the CID that we just got from, from IPFS. Let's see. And we'll call, give it a short name. Earth heaven. Cool, so that's been pinned. And now we're gonna go back out here and we're going to add the IPFS download link here too. So then when, and this is as locked content. So the only, only people that will see uh, where they can download the full file are, are people who actually own the uh, NFT. So that's in there. And I think I've got that all set up. So we'll hit create. And visit. And then I've been putting these all into an auction. So I'm going to put it as an auction. Uh, that ends on this very special day, February 22nd. Boom, 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 boom. 
post it. And then it has you sign something with your Ethereum wallet. And there it is. Now I have this uh, new auction item uh, that uh, the sale ends in 249 days. And if you click on this link here, oh, the, this link here, it shows you the hash of the file. Uh, it shows you the current owner of the file, which is this MB person here. And uh, since I have a few more minutes, I'll kind of show you uh, how the proof of existence stamps uh, work in a Pertis. <clears throat> so now that that's been uh, placed in there, uh, you can do a proof of in, uh, existence search using uh, by file. And if you select any of the files, so for instance, I've already done this one and this one, let's we'll select chaos love. And select open. It will search through the Mozicoin blockchain and then find any occurrences of that file. And here it found this uh, proof of existence stamp that I put in earlier today uh, and on 618 2021 for that file. And again, it shows you the hash of the file. Uh, so that proves that the file that you currently obtain that you use to do the search is the file that uh, I sold you. Uh, and in the future, uh, if I do sell this, I'll create another proof of existence stamp with a message saying that this file has been transferred to a new owner with at a new signature, and that will be signed by the exact same one as the owner who created the first proof of existence stamp. And that's how I'll be uh, proving that uh, you are the correct owner or the current owner of the file. Cool. Well, that, that was under 15 minutes. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.